Caving is the next frontier of exploration, and we're not finding new mountains anymore. There's a lot of caves left to find, and a lot of uh, unique places that nobody's ever set foot before. As a caver, you could go around and you could visit lots of caves. But as an explorer, like that you found it and you pushed it as a team, you saw potential. There's nothing easy about this. There's, there's not that much enjoyable about it while you're doing it. It's not a tick the box. It's really a committed effort to uh, get this kind of exploration done. Kathleen Graham and Jeremy Bruns led a grueling expedition into the guts of our planet. A seven-day journey with a big payoff, they discovered the deepest cave in Canada. In terms of the cave itself, Bizarro Anima is in 670 meters deep. I think the CN Tower is somewhere around 500 meters deep. So we're deeper into the earth than the CN Tower is tall by the time we get to the bottom of the cave. Kathleen went the furthest. The edge of the water is at 654.5 uh, meters deep. So I, I went in and I dived 15 meters deeper. I have cave dived, but never something that is so deep in a cave with so much logistical um, issues. Everything about this mission was hard. An accident, it could be very easily fatal. Pulling it off took meticulous planning. So Bizarro Anima is uh, northwest of Fernie, about 10 kilometers, but it's in a very isolated mountain plateau. We actually have to take a helicopter to get up there. Because of the remoteness, we really only get up there once or twice a year. So since 2012, we've only had about eight or 10 expeditions. Typically an average of five, six days for every trip. Uh, we've been forced to be really efficient and really focused on exploration objectives while we're up there. And um, in 2015, uh, the first permanent camp was established within the cave. That changed the game for exploration in the cave for us. Having a base camp means they don't have to resurface until they're ready to. The deep camp, camp number two in this cave, at 530 meters of depth is the deepest camp north of Mexico and in North America uh, for cave. And it's permanently established as of this year with uh, places for three cavers to sleep. So we also actually have a whole bunch of hardware in the cave, a bunch of bolts and ropes. Um, that we use for exploration. I think to date we've used more than two kilometers of rope in this cave. So when you're actually doing cave exploration, you're surveying, you're going point to point and taking measurements. So it's not fast, it's not an adrenaline rush. But the element of danger is very real. The biggest risk is always cold and rocks. Uh, rock fall is a huge hazard. Getting hit by a rock coming from 20 meters or three meters is it, really bad. Good job, lad. You're spending seven days living inside a refrigerator. Hypothermia can set in quite quickly. If you get wet, the only way to dry out your clothes is to keep moving in the heat of your body to dry out your clothes. So you do not want to get wet. If you have to dry out your clothes, generally you have to sleep with it, which is the last thing you want to do, but that's what you have to do. That's hardcore passion, something they need to survive this punishing environment. So camping in a cave, is darkness, 100% darkness, all the time. Your eyes are trying to adjust, but they never seem to. You keep thinking that you're gonna see something, and you can't. You're confused, you don't really know where you are, but then the smell of the cave, of thousand-year-old dust floating in the air and water droplets floating around, kind of remind you, oh yeah, I'm in Bizarro Anima. It's just a mix of suffering, difficulty, uncomfortableness, and and incredible achievement all at once. You have to be really resourceful and pay attention to yourself and your team, like where people's heads are at, and make sure that every, everyone's feeling positive and you know, take care of each other. At these depths, you have to. If somebody were to injure themselves in the bottom of the cave, uh, it would take a long time and a lot of people to get them out. It's going to take one day to get out for every hour that you travel into the cave. So in the bottom of the cave, if we're 10 plus hours into the cave, it's going to take 10 days just to get you out on a stretcher. We all know it. It's all in the back of our minds that you are deep in the don't screw up zone. 
I've had people notice before that cavers are really quick to, like when you fall, you get up real fast. You hurt your finger, you just breathe and you keep on going because you have to get yourself out of the cave. Fortunately, everyone made it out safely with full bragging rights. The deepest cave in Canada is, it's a big deal to us because caving as a science and a sport is very young in Canada. We're pushing the limits of exploration for uh, Canadian caves. We're proving that Canada has a lot of potential and that there's so much more that isn't explored here.